We live in a world where selfishness and busyness is celebrated. We own it like a badge of honor. We own that. We feel the more busy we are, the more successful we look. And it's all about what's in it for me. It's all about the me mindset because we have no time to pause, to reflect, to think, to appreciate, to admire. And it's not our fault. It's not. This is the world, the culture, the environment we live in. We live in just focusing on ourselves. We are focused since we are children. We've been told when you grow up, you have to be this, you have to be doctor, you have to be lawyer, you have to be most successful person. And we get into that zone that the only thing that matters is becoming successful. And we forget, we forget that beggar who's probably hungry on the streets because we are too busy reaching to work. We forget that people who we are doing this for, the success, they are waiting for us at home. They are waiting for our call, that message, that feeling. But we forget, we forget that because we lack compassion. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the power of compassion because it is such a beautiful feeling when you are compassionate, when you feel it's a source of power, it's a source of goodness, greatness, authenticity. When you become compassionate, it's a purest form of love. When you feel compassion for another human being, but unfortunately, this world, this environment we live in, and if we are not careful, the world will consume us. The tech, the AI will consume us. We will have no time to even look within ourselves. We would not have time to reflect what we are missing out because we're constantly trying to achieve something. We're trying to constantly get to that goal, the next goal. By the time we reach that goal, we want to reach an, another level, another goal. And that's okay. That's all of it is okay. But what are we missing here? Are we missing not being able to spend time with people who we have been doing this for? Are we missing not spending times with our parents who are getting older and older? Are we missing spending time with our children? Are we missing spending time with our spouses? Because the time is going. And we lack that compassion to think, to reflect. And what happens? How long? How long we will keep doing this, that success, that money. And all of it is good. Money is good. Success is great. What are we trading that for? We have to think about that. Are we spending enough time with our family, our loved ones, people who care about us, the friends who used to be somebody who we were closest, who admired us, who were our cheerleaders, who supported us? Are we missing them now because we are so busy with our lives trying to achieve, to get that million, that million pound, that million dollar, get that money? Because we have to be mindful. We can get all the success, but if we don't have the people who are we are achieving for, then that success, what are we trading that for? This is why the compassion is something so beautiful, being able to think about and feel in everyday life. And it's not just about compassion for our family and friends, but it's also compassion for people who you meet on the streets. People, a beggar on the street who's begging, who maybe is hungry. Thinking, pausing, and really taking that moment. Because 
a lot of us miss those moments very easily and we get irritated we get distracted we are irritated because somebody at work or somebody else kind of did something which irritated you but that irritation only comes back to you home to your family and what happens that relationship is start affecting because you didn't have the time for yourself to even think and to even reflect to not even pause research has shown that compassion not only benefit people who receive it but also has a really positive impact on person who shows those compassion those uh, feelings to others and some of the major things which compassion does is improves your mental health improves your being your mindset your ways of dealing with things it also helps you to build stronger relationships because in reality it's all about relationships it's all about community it's all about building stronger beautiful loving community it's not about surrounding with yourself with a lot of people i'm not talking about that but building that trust building that love that compassion with bigger wider community so it's all real and authentic and true so then they can count on you you can count on them and that brings such a joy and that support system for all of you for everybody and i see that it is missing because everybody is in it for themselves you see at work in your job everybody is trying to protect themselves they're too scared to be honest too scared to be truthful because they think you can't trust anybody because nobody shows compassion and love and it's so sad that even if you do show compassion because we've been so brought up in that uh, environment scarcity mindset scarcity environment that we even doubt that person who's showing love and compassion because we think they must have some agenda some reason to be nice to be compassionate to me so we cancel them we don't talk to them we stop speaking to them we think that, that person has some agenda truth we told sometimes it, it does happen and a lot of people might have that agenda but do you see how the world is constructed now because we can't trust anybody we can't trust people at work you can't share your thoughts you can't share your emotions because if you do you're too emotional so we 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 have created this we have created this mess that you can't trust anybody you cannot be open to anybody you have to have the emotionless uh, stoic face you have to not express yourself you have to keep your mouth shut because that's what we have created nobody talks about love and care because that's too too cheesy why should you talk about it so we have created this we have our culture our environment this world and the only way to kind of change that to start being compassionate to start showing being true to yourself and being true to others doesn't matter how hard this is and it might be hard because things are challenging when you become true to yourself when you start speaking your truth it becomes challenging so what do you do it happens to me i speak my truth i always do regardless of the consequences and people feel that resentment towards me sometimes and most of the time but that's okay we i'm trading that for because i want to have and live in a compassionate loving world i am okay with the people to not not believe who i am because i believe who i am i know who i am and that's what matters this is why compassion is extremely important in this world because at this moment the way the corporate world the way everything is going it is extremely toxic the relationships 
are building extremely toxic because nobody trusts anybody. People are scared of commitment. People, most people are single because nobody trusts anybody. There's the issues with commitment, communication. People don't communicate because you are not supposed to be honest. Well, all that comes down to not being passionate with others, but also not being compassionate with yourself. You are not being compassionate with yourself because you constantly trying to do so many things and being self-critical, being hard on yourself that you haven't achieved this, you haven't achieved that, you've lost your time, you've done, you've done this, you've done that. And where does that take you? Where does that take you? Only so far. Because eventually you will realize once you become the most successful person in your eyes and you find yourself you are still not happy. You find yourself you still don't have that joy. Then the what? Then what are you going to do? That's where self-reflection comes in. Because self-reflection will allow you to really see your own pattern, your own behavior, your own issues. That you've been so critical, so hard on yourself. You've been so hateful towards yourself. It's not everybody's fault. It's all a start with you. You need to be the change you want to bring to this world. You need to be that change. So that's where it starts from you. The compassion needs to start from you. Then you can spread that to other people because if you've been hard on yourself, you will be hard on other people because life reflects who we are, not what we do. Life always will reflect who we are, not what we do. So life is a mirror. So if somebody is being mean, horrible, toxic to you, you take a good look within you. Why that person is doing that to you? There's something, maybe you've been really hard on yourself. Maybe you've created that energy of hate within yourself. So life is always reflecting who you are and people are always projecting who they are. So both are true. They have to look at themselves, you have to look at yourself. And that's where we can be more than who we are. We can be our truest being. Because that's what it's all about. And the power of compassion has so much power that it's, it can change the world, it can change the society. You just have to bring that to you. You just have to cultivate that. It will be hard because you have been so hard on yourself. You've been so uh, difficult on yourself and other people. It might be hard in the beginning, but eventually you will start seeing the change. First, start being compassionate with yourself. And in today's world, there's so much divide. There's so much noise. There's so much distraction. The, the most loving, the amazing thing you can do for yourself and for your loved ones and people around you. We are all human beings. Before any divide, before any border, before any race, any color, any religion, we are all human being. So instead of focusing on all, all of the noise, Let's focus on one thing. Focus on being human, being the best human, being that compassionate, loving human, because that's what matters. That's what's going to change the world. That's what's going to fulfill you. Because in the end, we all human being. We are one. It's all about oneness not division it's not about the division it's about oneness and that's where we all need to be that's where we need to be to cultivate goodness greatness compassion love because that's our true nature and the world is distracting you from your true nature so this is the time to become more compassionate with yourself and others